folks this is question eight we just have to fill in the, st the stem and leaf plot here so one seven so we're looking for numbers up there that start with one seven the only one i think is one seven nine so put the leaf of the nine in there then we should have a little comma really um yeah, we go on to 18 then. So things starting with 18, they actually go up in order here, I think. So 185, 186, 187. Uh, 187 again. So there's two 187s. 189. And then it goes to 190. So 190 is the leaf for, zero, for 190. Uh, 191, 192, 196, 197, and that's it. And then 200, we have to put a zero in there for the leaf for 200. Now, work out the mean age of these students. So you're just going to add up all of the numbers. You don't have to even read it off the stem and leaf plot. You can just go back up here. So you can just type all those numbers into the calculator and add them all together. And then you're going to divide your answer by 12 because there's 12 numbers there. When you do that, then you should get 189.9. So that's rounded off. Next one is median age. You can write them all out in order there if you want and then look for the middle one or we can go to the diagram and just cross them off in that because they're in order so that one that one and next smallest next biggest next smallest next biggest next smallest next biggest next smallest next biggest and now i've crossed off the same amount on both sides but we have one eight nine and one ninety there So we have two in the middle, so we're going to add them together and divide by two, and that would give me 189.5 or 189 and a half. The range then is just the biggest minus the smallest. That's going to be 200 minus 179. And I should get we should get 21 there. That's the range. In six months, which one of these measures will not have changed for the group, for this group of students? Well, it's going to be the range there. The reason is because, I mean, if you, the range is the biggest minus the smallest. So just imagine you had 10 minus 6. 10 was the biggest and 6 was the smallest. Well, that would give you 4. But then if, just say you add on, uh, four months so just four added on to both of them so that's 14 minus 10 so now it's still a difference of four so the same happens here uh, the biggest one was 200 here so if you add on what are we adding on six months so that's just 206 minus and then if you add on six to the 179 as well that's 185 so the difference between them is still 21 so when you add on something to both numbers the difference between them should stay the same here how many did well it's easiest to fill in history first there's 12 altogether four did maths four did sorry five did science then there's three left so three this has to be five out of 12 and then this has to be three out of 12. The way you get to the angle in the pie chart is to multiply by 360. So you're multiplying that by 360. Multiplying that by 360. And that's what you would have been doing there to get 90. Then we get 150 here. 150 it's down here. I did, I did 150 for some reason. Yeah, we should get 120 here. 
Work out the number of students who chose history. I've done that already. That's three. Work out the two missing fractions. Okay, I've done that already as well. In history. Yeah, I'll write them in. Oh, yeah, well, I've written that in. Uh, work out the sizes of the two missing angles. Write the answers in the appropriate. I've done that as well. Then it's just a matter of putting in the angles then on the pie chart. So it's hard to show here, but you're going to put the angle of 120 in for maths. So you're going to put your protractor along that line, the bottom line of it along that line. And then you're going to go all the way around to 120 on your protractor. And 120 should be over there somewhere. maybe about there so that's 120 that's not very accurate but and that's maths and then the other one should work out for you so if you measure that one correctly the other one should uh, fit then it should be 150 so 150 degrees and that's the pie chart drawn that's all for question eight